Hello everyone, this is DG Snapway from tutorialsnap.inc. Today I'm going to show you how to create or develop a responsive website using Bootstrap and jQuery. So what we need, we need NetBeans IDE and Bootstrap files and a file of jQuery. So let's get started. Go to NetBeans IDE, then create a new project. Go to file, click new project. Select Java way and next and name your project. So here I'm going to name it tutorial one. So tutorial one already exists, so I'm going to let's name it tutorials or just tutorial. So now our project is being created. We need booster files. So I'm going to show you how to get booster files from the internet. Go to your web browser. Then in the URL, in the, in the URL path, you just type getboostrap.com. So it take you to this website. Then you get here into bootstrap link. It will prompt you. You will see the download bootstrap button. You click it. You get to here. Here you can see download bootstrap, download source code, and download classes. But here we need the files. So you click download bootstrap. So since you already have the files, let's go straight to our tutorial. So now I'm going to show you how to put booster files into a project. So the files are already done, but since I have them, I'll just cancel this one. So come to your file explorer, locate where your downloads go, get into your booster file folder, highlight all the files, then copy them. Then you go to documents. Locate your NetBeans project folder. Then you create your project here. You locate your project. So here, our project is named Tutorial. So we get in Tutorial, get in the web folder, then we post our files there. Now let's go to our NetBeans IDE. You can see here that the CSS, the fonts, and the JS from the booster folder have been, has been put in there. So let's delete the index HTML. We'll create our own. So right click on the web pages folder, select the new. New GSP for file. You name it index. Yes, we created. Now we have to reference the files so that we can be able to use them in our pages. So we get into the header and start typing link rel. Then into the rail tab, tab style sheet. Then href. Here I'm going to reference the files from the folders there. So first we reference the files from the CSS folder. So you type the name of the folder first, which is CSS, then forward slash, then bootstrap. Bootstrap. Bootstrap dot min. The CSS. And we close. Then copy the link there. Then here we're going to edit this. It's going to be Bootstrap theme. 
dot mean dot css so you've referenced the files from the css folder so for now we're going to use only this one now we have to we have to reference the files from the js folder so these ones are being referenced in the body tag so first you type script then you say type text the file slash javascript you say src it's reference how you, you get the the files it's not the same as you use href here here we use src then you type js which is the name of the folder which contains the files then you type bootstrap Bootstrap dot mean js. Let me copy this one. But firstly, I made a mistake of um, referencing the bootstrap file first. Make sure all the time you reference the jQuery file first. So I'm going to delete this one. Yeah. Then say jQuery. The JS. No, it's fine. So our file has been referenced there. Now, what you need to do? We need to type our code there. So first we type div. Then we give it a class container fluid. This div that will contain all the codes which will be in this body type. In div, give it class row. So in this, sorry. DIV DIV plus call MD I'll give it six text send style background I'm going to make it brown the color that I like to use then color color of the text I give it a white smooth then in the H2 I'm going to type that will be in the header. So you just call it tutorials name. Tutorials name dot ink. So let's style it. Style. Font weight I'll give it bold Then font family I'll give it serif Then padding bottom. I give him 10 pics. 
Wenn man Pieks aus. Now click another DIV. And let's again call MD. I'll give you six. Just send uh, some type of text. Then install it. Background. I'll make it run again. Color. I'll make it very small. Height. Oh, sorry, I didn't close this one. So height. I'll make it 73 pips. In this DIV, create another one. So it loss. I'll make it collapse. So, I'm already inspired it. <laughs> Style. So, paid and write. I'm making 20 px. Paid and top. I'll just make it 10 px. I'll put on the links your take <coughs> so obviously I'll just give it a class of no. using the list in the list we provide the anchor tag in the anchor tag each are EF but I want to be fair because we won't be going anywhere so like just waiting for this tutorial so just home page I just say home so we're going to need this I'll copy the whole of this thing, paste it underneath. Then call it about us. Then get tutorials in this one. So I'll check. If I have all I need here, so 
So, let's see everything and run to test. Here we have our thing. <coughs> so, to see if your page is responsive, you can minimize it. You can see it can fit in a small screen, also can fit in a big wide screen. <coughs> but get an example of files that are not re responsive. So I'm going to open the project here. Which does not have a responsive Oh, just create something to show you how things that are responsive act. Now I think there's a wasting time. So this is responsive, you can see. So here's something that I'm working on. So in the next tutorial, I'll be looking at making functional button using jQuery and Bootstrap without using link inside or something. Thank you for watching. You can visit my page on Facebook, which is tutorialsnet.inc, and get the videos. Thanks for watching.